the regurgitated lung of an instance of RPC-380-1. Cleaned. Registered phenomena code. RPC-380. Designation. Sid Meier's Civilization Zero. Alpha build. Object class. Beta red. Hazard types. Biohazard. Ideological hazard. Transmutation hazard. Containment protocol. Instances of RPC-380-1 are to be contained in standard airtight containment cells. Personnel requesting to interact with instances of RPC-380-1 are required to wear Class 4 biohazard suits. Amnestic use may be granted to personnel after interacting with instances of RPC-380-1. At least 12 vials containing RPC-380 solution are to be kept in a secure cryogenic locker in the office of Dr. Eckert Lettner. In the event of a breach of containment, Class A biohazard protocol is to be initiated. Description RPC-380 is an anomalous form of bloodborne virus that alters the psychological and physical makeup of infected humans. RPC-380 will enter a one- through two-week incubation period upon infecting an individual. After the incubation period, individuals affected by RPC-380 will begin to experience symptoms such as fever, nausea, dissociative amnesia, internal pain, and decreased motor ability. Upon development of symptoms, individuals infected by RPC-380 are then designated RPC-380-1. About two through five days after the onset of symptoms, instances of RPC-380-1 will begin to experience the long-term effects of RPC-380. RPC-380 will begin to transform internal organs into miniaturized structures of Ptolemaic Egyptian architecture. Organs transformed by RPC-380 will be either regurgitated or forcibly removed by RPC-380-1. Despite the loss of major organs, RPC-380-1 instances will remain alive. RPC-380-1 instances will enter a state of obsessive behavior about two weeks after infection, attempting to arrange removed organs in patterns resembling urban planning. Addendum 1 the first known record of instances of RPC-380-1 was noted by Edward Lindebau in 1908. Lindebau documented in his journal his encounter of a group of natives outside the Temple of Dakar, near the present-day Aswan Dam. Following Lindebau's departure, four vials of RPC-380 infected blood were frozen and put into Edward Lindebau's personal collection. Following Lindebau's death in 1913, the vials were successfully brought into authority custody. Addendum 2. In 1997, an outbreak of RPC-380 was discovered by authority personnel. The infected individuals were successfully brought into custody, and a full-scale documentation process of the symptoms and effects of RPC-380 began and was completed in 1998. Approximately five months after the outbreak, fragments of the original mosaics at the Temple of Dhaka taken by Lindebau surfaced. Excerpts from Lindebau's writings suggest that RPC-380 was utilized as a type of entertainment for certain ancient Egyptian monarchs. The men who constructed things from their flesh, blood, now would incomplete. The powerful pharaoh Vampiric Meneheb would select their man to engage in competition. The tournaments fierce, the prize would be many concubines. When Meneheb was amused, the buildings, villages would be spared his sadistic wrath. Addendum 3 Instances of RPC-380-1 have begun developing hostile behavior towards other instances of RPC-380-1. Instances of RPC-380-1 will now actively attempt to locate and attack other instances of RPC-380-1. RPC-380-1 will attempt to breach containment in order to attack other instances. RPC-380-1 will vocalize messages directed at other instances at all times, except during discharge of affected organs. A list of recorded vocalizations is available below. I can see you preparing to attack. Why are your troops on my border? We will raise your cities. I will pillage you. For the glory of Amun-Ra, I will not submit. <laughs>